friggin' asteroid? Ugh. A cosmic pop-up? Restaurant? Are those... what the hell? Oh! Uh, and just... do they taste like hot dogs? <laughs> Cosmic Knight? <laughs> he just wants to stand in line and they dropped all their food. Knight of the Sun? Come on dude, it's a sword! Praise the Sun? Helios. <laughs> this is a Cosmic Renaissance Fair? I know that's right. It's like, dude, I want the sword. I like that he's actually asking questions. It's just like, yeah, before I chill with this, can I ask some questions? <laughs> oh, man, I love that. <laughs> it's just like, ah. Sir Mortenial. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, come on. <laughs> Holy crap, what happened? Oh, they're paid to stay. Oh, man. I mean, they must have money if they're able to actually Hey, for people to stand there. Oh, wow. Oh, God. It is a cosmic renaissance fair. It's literally on the sun. That's a good question. Indestructible flesh. Eternal life. You can choose to die. <laughs> right? It's just like... You're not allowed to leve right dude we i I just met you on an asteroid, bro whoa, solar scepter living as a god i I'm waiting for the shoe to drop, Morty. It sounds too good to be true. um, cut off your what that just just cutting off your dick, huh yeah nah nah that's a that's a hard pass. <laughs> How is he okay? <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna go with it's science. Gotcha. That tracks. <sighs> Can't leave until he bests him in combat. That sounds about right. Just best him in combat. Ooh, AI sword. <laughs> the sword of sea blade. Nice. But will he end up becoming king if he defeats the king? Yep. Yep. I knew it. I'm just like, wait. If he beats the king, will he become king then? Yeah, there it is. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> I love this, it's just like, they have to consult the rule book because it's so unprecedented. I love that. I'll visit you on Sundays. <laughs> just literally knows Blade movies. I mean, you, that's usually how this goes down. Morty does something stupid, Rick makes him feel like shit. Uh, we're, we're not doing that? Has Rick actually developed as a person? <laughs> It'll be more agreeable for one episode. Oh, uh, there it is. You want me to... Uh, I mean, they're knights. Of course they die for their king, unfortunately. It's commendable, but... Mm, and they're just hanging out in his house now, huh? Wait, the scepter keeps the solar system spinning? Uh-oh. I feel like this could go south soon. I feel like we're gonna find out that the scepter actually does what they say it does. Oh, that, that's a harsh one. It's just like, does this mean we cut off our penises for no reason? <sighs> Ooh, that's, that's, that's a hard one to actually tell you, man. I'm sorry. Get heroin. Wow. Oh, Rick's actually proud of him for figuring this shit out. Nice. I also love that Space Beth just hangs around sometimes. I like, the whole idea of her was to not be here. And now she hangs out with the family just regularly. That, I, it's cute that I kind of went that direction, honestly. Uh-oh. That sun in the background is, uh, uh-oh. A solar flare? Uh, someone attacking the sun? Uh-oh. So, it wasn't just the scepter, there was actually a treaty and protection and, uh, ooh boy. Stuff you didn't really have to worry about. So there's just people of each planet who would easily go after each other? What the fuck is this? Oh, just everything is broken down. Do, do they cut off, like, their right tit? Is that what they do? Oh boy. Oh boy. Didn't actually consider how, uh... It would go down to just completely disband an ancient, several thousand million year old order. Is, is that Santa? Earl of Earth. Huh. Oh, it's like usually it's in the sun, so nobody can get it. So now it's just like, dude, it's a symbol of ruling the solar system. I want it. Oh, now they've just erupted into a civil war. Oh God. Jeez. Oh, the whole. Tank 10 is just bleeding. Oh my. Ah, oh, Jesus. Freaking red wedding this shit. Solar War 1. Jupiter takes Scepter into gravitational control. Oh boy. Oh, oh. Uh, Mercury quickly takes the scepter. Oh no! Jeez! How are you living through that many stabbings? It this disrupts with new tech. <laughs> Jeez! Interstellar war- Interstellar armed steel? Saturn deploys sulfuric mustard gas against Venus? Whoa! Oh, oh, and it's reaching Earth. Oh man, this is uh, whoa, cybernetic arms. <laughs> Pull them in the eyes. Jeez. Oh, 
Thank goodness Rick has force fields around Earth. <laughs> While well, Morty actually just wants to bail on the universe and just like, yep, screw this one up, let's bail. While well, Rick is actually trying to stay the course and be like, I mean, we're trying not to do that as much anymore. Actually take a little responsibility now. <laughs> Morty's probably gonna be like, ah, you freaking grew a conscious, dang it. Yep, there it is. Oh, come on, Rick's trying to be good about all this. He's trying to be a responsible person. Don't do this, Morty. <laughs> trying to be nice and Morty doesn't buy it. That's sad. That is so sad. Okay, taking a little responsibility, huh? That's, uh, huh. Like, usually things just go to shit and we leave it at that, but they all hanging out in the house. Oh, and they're all doing heroin. They can't OD. Wow. I actually can't blame them for that. It's just like, man, we followed this guy the first time around without actual commitment, and it kind of destroyed our lives. Why, why would we do it again? He wouldn't. He wouldn't actually cut it off, would he? <laughs> that would compete with heroin. Wow. Oh, uh, wow. Some real sacrifice, huh? <laughs> no, that's right. Do you want me to help you not cut off your dick? Yes, for the love of God, please. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna make your dick so fake, buddy. How many stabbings did these guys survive? And then to the bloodshed. Wow. And just like that, they bury all their armaments, huh? Oh, <laughs> just popped in and grabbed the scepter. Nice. Wow. Oh, jeez, oh, and they're rusty, too. Oh, no. <laughs> A machine that checks for what? Why do you have that? How many people have tried to get around cutting off their junk? Oh, because of the war they know about technology and- Oh, no. Oh, oh, just deactivate it first. A second machine? <laughs> wow. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's communicating psychically? Okay. And then, wow. Science bullshit. Okay, whatever. Do everything I tell you. Okay. Grab the scissors. Run! <laughs> uh uh. Are they gonna vat of acid it? Okay, and now they think it was just that he felt shame and just sacrificed his life. Nice. Yeah, they vat of acid it. And so after that, they decide, yeah, you know what? We're, we're not gonna do the whole penis thing. Yeah, I had to kind of make sure that things didn't uh, pan out in a negative way. <laughs> I love that. It's just like, King Mortenio's still alive. You tell anyone and you have to cut off your penis. I saw nothing. <laughs> Wait, Jack Black? Who was Jack? Wait, Daniel Radcliffe? Huh, wild. Uh, Eric Bassa, Maurice LaMarche, Nolan North, Carrie Walgreen? Dang, it's a who's who of voice actors. But I gotta admit, it's novelly nice to have an episode where Rick just was a genuine person. It's just like, yeah, no, I, I want to actually help you out on this. And like, and... Morty calling him out just to be like, Rick, what are you doing, man? Are you, are you trying to screw me? Are you trying to screw me, dude? Uh, oh, jail. Illegal hot dog trafficking. Whoa. What? Oh, it's a friggin' bust. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That was weird. So, of course, Rick went for the illegal food. No, seriously, I'm kind of proud of Rick for just being real. Like, really just being there for Morty. I have to really wonder if this season is gonna follow through with that all the way through. Like, Rick just doing what needs to be done, you know? I'm really curious. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you actually surprised that they managed to find a solution for this and it wasn't as catastrophic? as it could have been. Somehow those people were dying from fatal injuries, but then again, I mean, who knows how their biology worked. They seemed human, but whatever. <laughs> I just find it funny. They were this ancient medieval society that they caught up on thousands of years of technological development all for war. Honestly, that tracks. That really does track, but... Eh. Not the best episode, but I, don't, I, I liked it to a certain degree, just because of Rick being cool with Morty. But again, let me know your thoughts. Also remember to like, subscribe, bell, all that good YouTube stuff. And until next time, I've been News Is Then, and I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye